Hey, this is the video for Immunity 1. So go ahead and set up your Cornell notes. Remember to start a new page for this video. And check out the essential vocabulary. Today we will be looking at antigen, pathogen, virus, bacteria. So recall that uh, we have DNA in every single cell in our body. And our DNA is unique. So the proteins that we make will be unique from other individuals. And an antigen is basically these proteins that are on the surface of the cell. And it will be unique for each organism. So my cells, for example, may have this shape antigen, the rectangular or square shaped antigen. Now, please be mindful that this is very, very, very simplified. Antigens are far more complex, but I simplified it because the way you might see it is with a particular shape. So if it has a different shape, that is going to be considered an invader because it doesn't match the antigens found in my body, for example. Now a pathogen is something that is an invader. In particular, it's a microorganism invader that is causing illness or disease. And we recognize the pathogens because they have a different antigen. If you notice, one of, them, one of these antigens is a round or circular shape, the other one is triangular shaped. It doesn't match the rectangular or square shape of the body cells that I have normally. Uh, two examples of pathogens, also known as microbes, you might see that word microbe. Uh, we have a bacteria, which is living, and we have a virus, which is technically it's non-living, but it does have some biotic components. Uh, again, the pathogens are these invaders that are causing illness or disease. And a bacteria is going to enter your body and it is going to consume uh, substances in your body, specific chemicals, and release waste products. And these waste products can make us sick. A virus, on the other hand, will inject its DNA into your cells and it will trick your cells into making a copy of that DNA. Now. One thing that could happen is if you get an organ transplant, let's say for example, somebody dies in a car accident and they donate their lungs. Well, their lungs are gonna have a particular antigens present. And the recipient of these lungs are gonna have a different antigen. So these antigens of the donor and the recipient aren't equal. And that's going to be a problem. So in the cases of organ transplant, the donors, or sorry, the recipient will have to take immunosuppressant drugs. Immuno means the immune system, and suppressant means to hold it down. So basically, they're trying to reduce the immune response to this invader. Invader. Now, when this happens, you can slow your immune response. So you might be able, or you might be more likely to get sick from something that you might be able to fight off because your immune system is not functioning at full capacity. And in addition, it will prevent the body from attacking any of these organs that are implanted. Now, what I would like you to do is respond to this check for understanding. I hope that this video was informative. I thank you for your attention, and I will see you soon.